today i'm going to show you how i made these star earrings so for this look how beautiful it is for this i'm going to need some enameled copper wire pieces like four these are 6 cm so it depends on how big star you want to make these are 6 cm four pieces then some of the uh 30 gauge enameled copper wire for for this weaving work and then i've taken this blue sky blue colored uh, glass beads so we'll need 24 of them we'll i don't know how much exactly we need uh, this 30 gauge wire cause i roll it like i have rolled it on my visiting card but i use it from here itself i don't cut the wire and use it that way we save too much of wire so i have straightened some of my wire and i'm going to make a small very small loop at the end of it can you see it's very small and i'm going to i'll straight these wires as well so i'll keep two aside and i'll take two first i'll make a plus sign out of it and this is approximate a uh, half and half distance i'm not measuring it eventually we we can see with we can judge with our eyes so i'm going to put this loop in one wire can you see and i'm fixing these two wires together by criss crossing it so i'm weaving between these two and these two now I have made three loops. That's my mantra: three loops. And now I'm going to make three loops between these two wires. I'll show you close up once I'm done. Yeah. See this. And we can still, uh, uh we can still. move the wire a little bit if we feel that one length is one side is lengthier than the other side see now what i'm going to going to do is i'll hold it like this now what i'm going to make do is i'm going to uh take this wire above the first base wire and above the second base wire so this is the first wire this is the second wire and i'm going to make a loop here i'll stretch it properly and now above the third wire and i'll make a loop here now the fourth wire like fourth end and a loop now the first and a loop so if you can see this now i'm taking the wire from above the base wires i'm taking this 30 gauge weaving wire from above the base wire which is 20 gauge i'm making a loop and 
I am going forward. So this is how I am making the center of this star. I still move this wire a little bit. Once you get the hang of it, it's easy. And once it becomes a little big, it's easier to understand what I am doing right now is. So this is the base of first, uh, first plus sign is ready. As you can see it here. given one two three four five rounds of this and here one two three four four rounds so one more I'll make right and now I'll cut the wire I'll fix the pointy end. And I'll make another one. I'll show you once again. First, I'll straighten the wire. I always keep some wire on my visiting cards. So wherever I go, I carry a little length of this wire and a 20 gauge wire it's easier to carry and wherever we get time maybe in the train or on a bus stop I can make some of the other thing or even in the craft fairs where I go in the afternoon I keep on making some sort of jewelry so here I am going to make a small loop. I am showing this again because it's a bit tricky thing. And I have made a plus sign out of these two wires which are 6 centimeters. I am putting the loop in one, one of the wires. And with three loops mantra, I'm fixing these two wires very tight. And across these two. The wires are fixed now. They are attached to each other. Now again I am going to show you how I make this this center. So for this now my wire is coming above this wire and I am going to stretch it till this wire. I am going to make a loop and to the third wire. Again loop to the fourth the first and we are done we are done with the first uh, round of the uh, these loops now we'll make four more that's my cat flare Thank you. 
done. Now I'm going to show you how I attach these two plus signs and how I make this star. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is, this is our first uh, two wires design and this is our second where the wire is attached. So I'm going to hold this first below the new one crisscross. If you can see now there are it looks like eight wires four from first and four from second and I'm going to fix these two together by making the same loops but so now the wire is coming above the first this uh, first cross now I'm looping the wire the second cross then the first then the second so it's a bit tricky to hold them together for a while once we have uh, like tied the whole round of these loops then it's easier to handle and then we can add the beads so I'm making loops alternating first like top one and bottom one so the first round is completed and now I'll make the second round same procedure of making loops and I'm attaching these two crosses to each other done now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna add these beads so I'm going to add one bead these are 4 mm glass beads this is my number one wire where the two rounds of loops are ready. I'm going to add this bead on wire number two. And I'm going to make a loop around that bead. Now what I'm going to do is, so this was the first second. I'm going to leave two wires and I'm going to add a bead into third wire see this is the first bead first bead then I left two wires and I have added a bead into the third wire now I'll make a loop around that bead again I leave two wires and I'll add a bead in third wire I'll make a loop around that then I leave two wires and I'll add a bead into the third wire a loop around that leave two wires add a bead into the third wire see my wire is coming from this wire I have left two wires added a bead into the third wire making a loop now leaving two wires adding a bead into the third wire the loop around it and adding a bead to the last wire and loop no not last last but one and I have one more wire left here okay. so here is the last wire it's 
So as you can see, I have added one layer of beads. But we are going to add three layers of beads. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to follow these lines and I'm going to make the star again. Like this is my first wire. I leave two and I'll make a loop on the third. I leave two loop on the third wire. So now what happens is, are these beads are fixed and I am going to add another layer of beads. So here is my wire, I am going to add a bead to my third wire. I have left one, two and I have added a bead into the third wire, a loop around it. And I'm going to repeat the procedure, same as we did with the first round, leaving true and adding a bead into the third wire. So we are done with the second layer of uh, beads and I am going to repeat the procedure that I am going to wind the wire, only wire, not the beads. So I am leaving two and making a loop in the third wire, one, two, three, four, and last layer of the bead so I'm going to leave again two wires and adding a bead in the third wire and I'm going to make a loop around it I might speed up this process in the editing if you are bored or maybe you can forward it fast forward it and then I will show you the end thing end product but basically we are doing the same thing adding a bead to every third wire Thank you. 
difficult for me to see the whole kind of like various diameter of beads and accordingly i change the base wires length it's really trial and error thing no not error exactly there is no place for the error in jewelry making if you like your own piece I like my own piece. See, it's done with the three beads. And now I'm going to add the last layer of just wire. I'll straighten it a bit. last layer just with the wire leaving two and making a loop on the third wire and eight I'm going to end my work wire work with two small loops and then I'm gonna cut It's done now. I'll fold the pointed end. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make small loops out of these remaining wires. Can you see it here? It's to fix the design on its place and one more reason is it should not hurt your skin that's it it helps me to add uh, ear hook as well as if I want to add some danglers below this it's easier Now I'll add the ear hook. So I'm making a jump ring with the same uh, 20 gauge wire and for that I'm using my round nose plier. I make a sort of spiral uh, spring thing. So the base of my nose plier is the thickest one which I have. The other one which is the bell plier it's a big bit, uh, bit big diameter for my jump ring. So I use my round nose plier to make jump rings. So as you can see, I'm making a spring sort of thing. And every time, time I'm winding the wire at the base. So the diameter of the spring will be same. Spring is ready with the same diameter rings. Now I'm gonna cut through it. So we'll have four individual jump rings.
five. I take a yearbook. This is my uh, container for the attachments and jewelry findings and everything. Helps me to keep organized the things. So I have one yearbook. I'll take one jump ring. And I'll go through one of the loops and I'll add here and close it. There, my star shaped wire weaving earrings are ready. So, there are two types which I make one is this, I call it a shadow work as in the beads are behind the wire when you wear them you can see them sometimes otherwise you can see just the light coming through the beads and there is one more type when I keep the beads in front of the wire and wire is behind mm, once I'll show you that also I'm done with this today and yeah do like the video if you like and if you have any suggestions like if you have any design in your mind if you want me to make that i will try surely subscribe to my channel and comment bye bye